Hello everyone and welcome to the session Nearest Neighbor Classification. In that session we will cover one of the key and basic classifiers in machine learning. First of all we will talk about different applications in healthcare which make use of the nearest neighbor classifier. Then we will talk about the fundamental principles of the nearest neighbor classification, about the distance measurement and the different hyperparameters such as the k-value. We will also demonstrate the usage of a distance measurement later on in our activity where we need to predict for an unknown feature vector a class label based on a k-nearest neighbor classifier. There are many examples of a k-nearest neighbor classifier in healthcare. For example, if you were to look for different applications in healthcare to diagnose abnormal lung sounds, diagnosing heart disease patients, to detect toxicity or lymph node metastases. You will find hundreds of successful applications in healthcare where the Kenya's neighbor classifier was used for prediction. One of the reasons is if data pre-processing and data cleaning is done well, a k-nearest neighbor classifier can be quite successfully applied on different healthcare data sets. What are the important decisions you have to do in the k-nearest neighbor classifier? First of all, you need a distance measurement. A distance measurement a distance measurement, for example, could be the Euclidean distance, the Manhattan distance or the Minkowski distance. Usually we need a, a value called k and this should be an odd number. We will use k as our decision criteria, how many neighbors we will con take into consideration for our prediction problem. For example, if k equals 1, we will only take one neighbor. If k equals 3, we will take the three nearest neighbors uh, in comparison to an unknown feature vector. As our voting mechanism, we normally use a majority vote. So the majority vote of our nearest neighbors will predict what our new pr our prediction. If you look at this graph, you will see a plot, a two-dimensional plot of a feature space. Um, in this particular example, we have k equals 3. So for an unknown feature vector, we take into account the three nearest neighbors. The three nearest neighbors are two red squares and one blue circle. Obviously, we have more red squares as blue circles. So our new feature, uh, a new label for the unknown feature vector will be red square. In the real world, this could, for example, be a malignant or benign case where each of these different symbols resembles, for example, a malignant or benign case. The different distance functions could, for example, be the Euclidean distance, the Manhattan distance, and the Minkowski distance. The Euclidean distance works quite well if your data set, if your feature space was previously uh, cleaned and um, normalized or standardized. So feature values have been brought to a predefined range so that one feature is not um, having a superior impact on the whole Euclidean distance. The Manhattan distance is also quite often used. The Minkowski distance is in fact uh, a more generalized form of the Euclidean distance, where the Euclidean distance can also be expressed within the Minkowski distance if q equals 2. What happens if we have categorical variables where we can't calculate directly a distance measurement? In that particular case, we can still define a distance measurement by definition. For example, a malign case to malign case would be zero, benign to malignant would be one. For any categorical variable, we could define by definition such a distance measurement and then we can use this in a normal way into our Euclidean distance or the other distance measurements. 
The curse of dimensionality could possibly happen if you have two feature vectors which are quite close to each other in a two-dimensional feature space, but consider you would add another feature which is irrelevant for your prediction problem. Even if that's a noisy feature, suddenly feature vectors which are quite close and comparable to each other in a two-dimensional plot would be very far away in a three-dimensional plot. So that is called the curse of dimensionality. Um, you have to be aware of that, that irrelevant uh, features have an important impact on the k-nearest neighbor classifier. That's why data pre-processing is key for the k-nearest neighbor classifier. Let me wrap up this small session. We talked about different applications in healthcare which make use of the nearest neighbor classifier. We outline the fundamental principles of the nearest neighbor classification algorithm and demonstrated the usage of a distance measurement. In our practical and our practical activity, you will also do some calculations and you will now do based on this individual small data set that is provided for you a prediction for an unknown feature vector.